top news for this week, I'm Rachel Long. Students enrolled in a capstone dietetics class served homemade meals to the community on Sunday for the 12th annual Empty Bowls Banquet. The students began preparing the menu for the banquet several weeks in advance and were all hands on deck to serve it over the weekend. The Empty Bowls Banquet raises money for the Salvation Army to help fight hunger one bowl at a time. While creating and serving the meal was part of the course curriculum, many students said they enjoyed the feeling of giving back to the community. The annual Career Services Expo just wrapped up yet another year at Southeast, where more than 120 employers and graduate schools were in attendance. And Justin has more on that. The Spring 2018 Career Expo is in full effect on March 1st. Here's host Dan Preston to tell you all about it. It's been fantastic. Uh, this is one of the larger events that we've ever hosted. We've got 133 employers registered. Uh, and I haven't taken a student count recently, but there's been a lot of students that have come through here today, so I'm pretty excited about it. You think more this year than last year? It's always tough because different industries recruit in different semesters. And so like the fall semester, there's a lot of other industries. In the spring semester, there's a lot of school districts. So it just kind of depends. Um, we do a lot. We send out invites to our vendors, uh, the employers. We do LinkedIn marketing specifically for employers. Uh, then with students, we try to do as many emails and postcards and, and mailers in student mailboxes on campus, anything in order to get people interested. And how many students do you think uh, land jobs because of this event? You know what? Actually, a lot more. And a lot of times, students don't always uh, tell us about it. Last Career Expo, we found out that one company had hired two students from the Fall Career Expo, two December graduates. So that's pretty good if one company leaves here hiring two SEMO grads. Members of Greek Life hosted their annual blood drive last week in partnership with the American Red Cross. Now we'll go to Caitlin Mary for more on that. The annual Greek Week Blood Drive here on campus set a new record last week with 1,194 units of blood donated, reaching 5% over their goal. Michelle Johnson, the donor recruitment representative with the Red Cross, said the increased staff and volunteers really helps the donation process go quickly. I really can't do it without, without the volunteers. Um, number one, they're recruiting for us, they're coming to donate, and then they're volunteering. So they're giving a lot of their time and of themselves, actually, uh, to help make this drive happen. Over the four days of the blood drive, volunteers racked up a collective total of 910 volunteer hours. For the Arrow News Network, I'm Caitlin Mary Skaggs. President Donald Trump recently released his new budget plan. Kyle has more insight on how that will affect students and universities. President Trump recently released a new budget plan for the upcoming year with a lot of cuts coming in social programs, including Medicaid, Social Security Disability, and the Community Development Block Grant Program. The biggest news coming with the budget plan is for students. Undergraduate students will be able to have their loans forgiven in 15 years instead of 20, and graduate students can be forgiven in 30 years. Also, the subsidized loan will be eliminated with the new budget plan. Other parts of the budget are putting $200 billion into infrastructure over the next 10 years and over $300 million in charter and private school tuition assistance for families. To find out more information, visit southeastarrow.com. For the Arrow News Network, I'm Kyle Bornerman. That's all for this week, but as always, be sure to check out the Southeast Arrow in print, online, and in our mobile app in the App Store and on Google Play. With the Arrow News Network, I'm Rachel Long. <laughs>